To that story, the murder of a parent at a Soweto primary school has raised concern once again about safety at schools. It is reported that the father, uh, Eugene Chiriro, was trying to stop the hijacking of a scholar transport vehicle when he was shot dead. For reaction to this, now we're joined by Matakanya Matakanya from the National Association of School Governing Bodies. And good morning to you, Matakanya. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Uh, you know, I don't even know where to begin. I mean, such a tragic incident happening outside where vulnerable children um, go to school. Parents, you know, you know, rely on the safety of their children in the you know, infrastructure and the surroundings of the school. But a tragic incident like this happens. What's your reaction? And when you heard the news, I mean, what's the first thing that came to mind? Good morning to, to Melo and uh, your viewers. Uh, National Association of School Governing Body is uh, deeply, deeply concerned and uh, they want to send the deepest uh, heartfelt condolences to the family, uh, to the school, to the children, to the teachers, to the school governing bodies, as well as the community. Uh, of Proteat land. We are really uh, shocked mm. to continually see this incident of this kind happening in our schools. Our schools being second home of our children. Mm. But uh, the question of safe, school safety, it is not even uh, uh, really abated. It is still continuing. You remember, Jumela, that uh, we really suffered. And uh, uh, 2018, if you remember, we had a national convention. We had the second national convention, 2019, to try to address this question of school safety. Mm. But uh, it appears really it is not coming to a stop any sooner and near. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we saw we, uh, the MEC, if I may just jump in there, Mr. Matakanya, the MEC of Education, uh, Matume Churani, saying it's time then for the police to be deployed. Uh, you've been having these conversations for a while now. Is this the solution? And do you have faith that the MEC will deliver on that suggestion that the police needs to be deployed? No, no that, 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 that will never be a solution, uh, Tumelo. That will never be a solution. Mm. A solution... And we always said is for the community, is for the parents, is for the society to stand up and say enough, it is enough with our schools. And that is the only answer that we have. Once the community stands up and uh, and 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 make that clear and call that it is enough. Mm. Then they know this this uh, criminals. They know where these criminals are. They know uh, whose children are these criminals. They know where they are. So it will be easily helping the police to apprehend this. Uh, criminals, you know, yeah. uh, they will do what they do quickly in the school. But I'm telling you, within five minutes, 10 minutes, they will be arrested or they will be accosted by the community itself. So we think that is the only solution. So and another solution is that now I think there must also be a budget put aside to in the short term uh, organize community a policing forums. All the schools must be provided with policing, uh, community policing forums mm. in the short term. We know that the department may say, well, they don't have a, a budget. But within uh, these children of the president, President uh, Youth uh, Employment Initiative, I think they must just be a number of children that are referred to as Right. school safety uh, cadres.
Let me just uh, ask you this. You mentioned earlier, Mr. Matakanya, that the community needs to come together. The community needs to say enough is enough and they need to assist the police. What then happens in this incident where Eugene Shiriro was shot at, killed, trying to be that uh, responsible community member protecting young, vulnerable, innocent children? And you know how these criminals are these days. Very brazen, killing in full sight of children. His seven-year-old son witnessed the shooting of his father. What then happens when even their own lives are at risk? Then how do we also protect community members who in turn are trying to protect the schools? You see, there's this phrase, Jumelo, that says unity is strength. If we can explore that phrase, that what do we mean exactly when we say unity is strength. I don't think uh, the criminal can at one stage just kill all uh, uh, community members. You see, there's still problem with the communities. Our communities still have the phrase that says, everyone for himself or everyone for herself and God for us all. And that is not unity. That's really not unity. And criminals will not respect that community if it's only one person in the community who stands for the safety of our children. It must be community. Community, not only one person. And that's why we're saying mm. uh, communities, if you see, if you value education, right. stand up protect schools because the truth of the matter is that now schools attract criminals right there are tools of trade in schools and these criminals come just and collect all those tools of trade all right then our children remain without tools of trade we have to now, leave it there it is community that can stop if these things could and now it is really tropical because a person has been killed in the school and we have to leave it there. That's a very good point that you raised there. Hopefully we can come to a resolution so that the safety of children can definitely be strengthened uh, out in schools. Mr. Matakanya, Matakanya, thank you so much for making time for us from the National Association of School Governing Bodies. I appreciate your time this morning.